Because there was nowhere to land. So unfortunately, you know, I looked at him and I, I think I told him I loved him uh, and that I was sorry for putting him in this situation. That's when he looked at me and he said, I love you too. You, you do the best you can and you're trained and I have, I have complete trust in you. And, uh, and that from there on, I was just like, game on. Let's, let's get down alive. Let's make, let's make it out of this alive. And, you know, it's like a mountain and then it's Highway 19, uh, mountain and then Highway 19 sits here and then it's mountainous. So it was just sitting right there when you could not see it. Um, so I, I, I'm like, that's our road. That's our road. Then I see these two cars there. And I know, like, you know, I can't land behind them because the aircraft is just going to hit them. So I know I got to I got to dip it down and get some more speed and, and get in front of them. And now here comes the curve. And uh, so I can't land the aircraft yet because she will not go around that curve. I can't drive around the curve. I have to kind of hold that yoke up and let her glide through the, and you know, push the right rudder and fly her through the, the curve. And then here comes these power lines. So now you'll uh, slam her down and you'll hear the tires kind of squ squ like squeal. And then there's these vehicles coming. So I'm hitting the right rudder, the right rudder, and I'm pulling that handbrake and just trying to get away from these cars. When I when I so when I stood in front of the uh, the plane when I got out, you know, I told myself you're done. But after talking to all my family and all the support in, in the community, um, I got, you know, I got that passion back to do it. So I don't know if it happened just to, you know, give me more, I don't know if it was like to give me the confidence to continue or, you know, God forbid this happens again. And now I know that I can do it and I can make it out alive and safe. And,